Sometimes there's confusion between the backspace measurement and the offset of a custom wheel. So we thought we would take a minute to describe what those are and show you the right way to measure for backspace. The first dimensions we're gonna look at are the size of the wheel. So there is an overall width and the stated width. The overall width is from the outside of the flange to the outside of the flange, and stated is where the tire bead area is inside the flange. So in this case, the overall width is 12 inches, and the stated width is 11 inches. So that stated width on the inside, you'll see reference to tire sizing, but when it comes to fitting the wheel in the car, you wanna pay attention to that overall. So now that we know our overall width, next we're gonna measure the backspace. To do that, lay the wheel down and find yourself a straight edge and run it across that rear flange of the wheel. And then you measure down from that flange to the wheel mounting face. So in this case, we're right at five and three sixteenths for the backspace measurement. And that backspace measurement is important because that allows us to know how much space we have between the wheel and the car. If we have too much backspacing, we cut back on our room between the wheel lip and suspension components or the wheelhouse, uh, especially when the wheel is turning and all that jazz. So we gotta know that. The next measurement is the offset. And the offset refers to the wheel mounting face inside the wheel here and its relationship to the center of the wheel. Is it dead center or is it offset to the positive side or offset to the negative side. And the way you determine that is to calculate it. I find it easiest to take the overall wheel width, which we know is 12 inches, and cut it in half. That would be six inches. If we had a zero offset wheel, meaning if that pad was mounted directly in the center of the wheel, it would be exactly six inches. But we know that from measuring, our backspace is five and three sixteenths. So that means our wheel is offset just a bit to the inside. And to find out how much, we can take that six inch dimension of half the wheel and subtract our measured backspace. So six inches minus five and three sixteenths is 13 sixteenths of an inch. And that's how much our pad is offset inside. And if it goes inside, that means it's a negative offset. If it's to the outside of the center line towards the curb, that would be a positive offset. And keep in mind that the offset numbers are usually measured in millimeters, so you've got to convert that. And if you still need help, the pros at ForgeLine are always willing. You can find them on the phone or on their website at ForgeLine.com.